with the glory and dynasty. And finally, I'm getting my first looks at Ultimate Team. Now, as I'm very used to in Ultimate Team, you start with a base silver lineup. And this will be very important when we get to the Wheel of Nut. Technically, it's the Wheel of Cut, but that remains to be seen. Today, I wanna see all the players in the game open a ton of packs and hop into some gameplay. Now, you'll start out with the stadium and the jerseys of your favorite team. So it's important that you actually select your favorite team. Naturally, for me, that's Michigan State. So we've got Spartan Stadium, MSU uniforms, and base playbooks. They also gave me some MSU stars, even though they are like 60s overalls. We got Angelo, we got Aiden Child, we got Foster, and I think they gave me Nate Carter too. The rest is kind of a random hodgepodge of players, and everything else looks really similar to what we know from Madden Ultimate Team. You can grind solo challenges to get coins and training. There's a limited Ollie Gordon 86 overall halfback right now. There's a new mode called Solo Seasons, where you take on the CPU in a Seasons event. It's very similar to Madden Mobile, if you remember that. Then, of course, we've got head-to-head. -head. There is a house rules right now. It's college overtime, so if you've never played house rules, Rules. It's head-to-head -head online with unique rules. This one starts you right in college OT, which is probably what we're gonna play today. Now, the craziest thing I noticed about college football ultimate team, this is basically launch day, and there's a 90 overall in the game. The best player and most expensive, he's 2.2 million coins, is Luther Burden Mizzou. He's got 88 speed, he's a really solid card, he's nothing insane. To put this in perspective, when Madden ultimate team drops, the best cards in the game are 87 overalls. It's like a month until we get a 90 overall. You're in like September. So for them to drop this game with 90 overalls and honestly like a crazy amount of 88s and 89s was so shocking. I mean, there's a serious array of players in here. Colin Oliver, Abdul Carter, Jonah Monheim, and one of the sickest cards in the game right now is Michigan's Will Johnson. This is definitely one of the best ultimate team cards. The card art looks sick too. I'm not so sure about those player models. They're kind of corny, but the card art is absolutely gorgeous. And I think I'm most excited for Legends. Legends looks beautiful. Here's that limited Ollie Gordon, dude. I don't know about, look at that character model. 6'2", 215 halfback with 85 speed, 86 in shell. This is definitely one of the best cards in the game right now. It's also very important to note just how rare cards are. There is literally one Travis Hunter on the entire auction house right now. Granted, I am still on the deluxe edition, which means I have it early. You're gonna see a lot more when the full game drops, but 900K for 85 overall, blue rarity Travis Hunter is, is kind of crazy. All right, Vin Video monkey, open some packs. I will. These are like the pre-order packs right here. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what any of these are. So let's just open all these and find out our first ever pack of college football ultimate team. It's actually a sick uniform. I was about to talk shit. That looks fire. Bring glory home, home in a way. Those are nasty. This is a really good option if you really don't like your team's uniforms. In Road to Glory, I went to Kent State on a different build that I'm doing. God, those uniforms are disgusting. Sorry, Kent State fans, all 10 of you. Ooh, you just gave me a, the purple animation for a fucking tip. What are you doing? Ooh, wait a minute, what? What is this? Wait, this is kind of nasty. There's an 83 overall Joe Burrow. Definitely my QB1 right now. I mean, I, I don't have anybody, so yeah. Now, one thing I am really excited for is this rarity screen. It's the same like rarity system that Fortnite uses, right? So the best are the legendary golds and damn oh this is a heisman hopeful pack so we're gonna get a bunch of different players potentially get heisman so i should see a quinn ewers in here too will johnson caleb downs i'm sorry ashton i don't know how to do your last name buddy I'm trying to not get cooked in the comments on my first ultimate team zachariah branch and the final heisman hopeful is carson beck so I don't think we need Carson Beck. We got Joe Burrow. Zachariah Branch is 5'10 with 83 speed. It's a little short. Dude, Caleb Downs, 6'84 speed free safety. Safeties are really important. I'm going Caleb Downs. I'm gonna be honest. I should go Will Johnson, but I'm not picking up a Michigan player for... No, I'm not doing that. And frankly, I don't like getting a Buckeye either. Ah, it's the lesser of two evils for a Michigan State fan. I'll say that. Caleb Downs. I bet he likes cheeseburgers. 84 speed, 83 excel. This is a damn good card. This is a damn good starting ultimate team card. Keep in mind, for anybody who is new to Ultimate Team, overalls scale linearly throughout the season. So by Christmas, there's gonna be 95 overalls. Right now, I would say an 82 overall team would be pretty competitive online. So 
That's kind of what I'm shooting for. Something like an 80-ish. If we can knock that out today, I'd be excited. We get an alma mater pack. You can choose your conference, which is so cool. It is so funny to me how many players are going to be in this mode. I mean, you have so many teams and so many fans to make happy. It is going to be insane, the depth of players in Ultimate Team this year. Really excited to see. I mean, we, the best player in the game is a Mizzou player right now. That's nuts. All right, the Big Ten pack. We got Maverick Hansen, Michigan State University. So it's all 81 overalls. I'm trying to think what position we want here. Riola's a dog. He's honestly really good, but I'm going to rock Joe Burrow. Henning, Ballard, Moore. Dude, I kind of want a linebacker. There is a middle linebacker. There's a field general middle linebacker from Washington. There's a field general middle linebacker from Wisconsin. Let's take a look at these gentlemen. Carson Bruner, 6'2", 79 speed. That's a decent user for now. I'm really just looking at height and speed right now. That's the important things. 5'11", 80. I'll take the three inches and a little less speed. Frankly, dude, three inches is all I got. So if you could add three inches to me right now, game time. Just ask Sketch. Sorry, shit! Now, when you look at these cards, super similar to Ultimate Team in Madden, you've got all their stats right here, and then there are abilities. Keep in mind, a player has to hit a certain overall threshold or rarity threshold to even get an ability. So like Carson Bruner, this base card right here, all you have really is team chemistries on him. No abilities right now. That's really how it should be. I bet you that 90 overall wide receiver though, if you drop 2 million coins on him, he'd probably have an ability. We've got this Ultimate Alumni Pack here. I'm pretty sure this has really good cards. I think they're 83 overalls, maybe 82. Nasty animation. First option, 82 overall Brock Bowers. I do love my tight ends. It's going to be really difficult for me to not take Brock Bowers. I'll be really shocked if there's anybody I want that's not Brock Bowers. Jared Verse is a dog. I'm still on the Brock Bowers train. Quinion, shit. Okay. Quinion Mitchell is a dog. And I really need a corner. Peyton Wilson. Michael Penis Jr. Blake Corum. Adonai Mitchell. Shit. JC Latham. Okay, wait. These are nasty. Jordan Morgan and the final ultimate alumni that we have an option for. Cooper DeGene. Look at me, bro. This is genuinely a very difficult decision. These are all really good cards. Okay, so Brock Bowers, 6'3", 81 speed. The only reason I'm not going Brock Bowers is he's a 6'3", tight end, which is actually pretty short in like ultimate team terms. You do want a tall tight end. So I'm going to save it for like a 6'7"-ish tight end. Cooper DeGene's got 80 speed. Sneaky athletic. Lunch pail guy that I would absolutely let date my daughter. But Quinion Mitchell, C82 speed, but I wouldn't let him within a thousand feet of my daughter. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Guess what, buddy? Do you see the EA watermark anywhere? Do you see it? Do you see the work in progress watermark? Oh, you don't. That means I can say whatever the fuck I want. Honestly, Quinion Mitchell is the pick here. I'm gonna go Quinion Mitchell. He's actually so good. 82 speed, six foot corner right now. He's really good. Cooper DeGene would be funny, but this is the right pick. Quinion Mitchell out of Toledo. I mean, how, how often are we gonna get Toledo players either? So this is the call. Also, Quinion, I would let you date my fictional daughter. If my fictional daughter dated an NFL player, I'd be just fine. Kidding, of course. Hey, yo, Never what the in a thousand fuck? fucking years. <laughs> There's also a cover athlete pack. So Quinn, Donovan, and Trav. I wonder how good they are. 81 overall. I am tempted to go Donovan Edwards. See, I already played a game with him, but it's, I really cannot put a mission player on my team. I gotta go Travis Hunter here. Getting that Joe Burrow is great. We've got a great quarterback. We've now got a great wide receiver. We've got a great corner. This is a very nice kickstart and a great free safety in Caleb Downs. We've got some really, really good options right now. So the cover athlete, Travis Hunter, honestly, just overall very base stats. 81 speed, excel, awareness, but he's gonna to get the job done this early in Ultimate Team, you're not gonna see a ton of God Squads right now. It's not really even possible and it's not worth it. SOTW Welcome Pack. I believe this is Stories of the Week. You can think of this as Team of the Week. We get a Nick Scorton, 80 overall left end. It looks average, Texas A&M. So it looks like the biggest bundle available right now is the Conference Stories Fantasy Bundle. You get two Conference Stories Fantasy Packs and your choice of one of two 83 plus Conference Story players. That is just word jambalaya. Here's your probabilities. You have an 8.4% chance at an 86 plus. 86 plus are very expensive right now. Then the 83 plus has a 7.7% .7 chance at an 86 plus, but you're guaranteed, of course, the 83, and you're guaranteed an 82 plus in these. You only get seven total players, though. That's a heater. I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know what the conference stories players are. And I think this year in Ultimate Team, more than ever, I'm gonna learn about a hell of a lot new players. It's gonna be really exciting. All right, conference stories fantasy pack. Our very first player in our first pack. Greg Rubin, we got a Memphis Tiger. 80 overall strong safety, and I do need a strong safety right. Player number two, Kobe Baines out of Kansas. Work on the offensive line, potentially. Pack three, Brendan Mott, speed rusher. Kansas State, I kind of like him right now. Since we already have a left end, we should stack up the right end. Potentially. Now we're guaranteed an 82 plus. We haven't gotten it yet. Damn. TJ Crandall 
West Virginia Mountaineer, 83 overall corner with 83 speed, 82 ex... Ooh, hoo, hoo, he's a monster. That's what I'm looking for, baby, in our fifth and final. 82 overall wide receiver, Yul Keith Brown out of Tulane. I literally have heard of none of these guys. Brown's got 82 speed and he's 5'10". I do get a choice of two players here. So, absolutely, we gotta take Randall. Crandall, sorry. And then it's either Brendan Mott or Yul Keith Brown, but I think I'm gonna go Yul Keith Brown. Two highest overall guys. Oh, shit. It skipped my pack animation on this second and final round. So we get Brown again. We get a dupe already, but we do have Martavius French. Dude, I don't even know what team this is. That's so MM casual of me. What fucking team is that? I'm so sorry. That is the University of Texas at San Antonio. I'm such a casual. That is the University of Texas at San Antonio Roadrunners. I'm sorry. What was I thinking? Martavius French, please forgive me. It'll never happen again. Um, six, he's a big middle linebacker. 82 overall with 79 speed. He's actually a slightly better user than Carson Bruner. Yeah, he is a slightly better user than Carson Bruner. So we got a brand new user. So the conference stories fantasy pack number one gets me an 83 corner, 82 wide receiver, 82 middle linebacker. All right, pack two. Right now, we still need a halfback. Halfback is the big position, and there is a limited Ollie Gordon in packs. So I could pull him, and there's a Greg Rubin again. I wonder how deep this promo goes. So it looks like we're getting dupes already. Jalen Conyers! Yo! Dude, Jalen Conyers was at Arizona State when I went to the Arizona State game. I don't know if you guys saw that vlog. And then he transferred to Texas Tech. He's one of the best tight ends in play a friend right now. And I don't have a tight end because I didn't take Brock Bowers. I may go Jalen Conyers. Kobe Baines. Uh, hopefully this is one of our big ones right here. Oh, that's somebody big! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Did you see that? That animation was slightly different. It was a little more anime. I could tell something heat was coming. Jonathan Jefferson, right end SMU. He's a fucking monster. 86 power moves, 83 strength, 80. That dude's a stud. And this one right here. Oh, same shit. Wait, same shit. Wait, wait. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, this was fucking heat. Cameron Rising. He, dude, he's actually so much better than Burrow. I think I have to take Cam and Jefferson. As much as I'd like to use that, Burrow would also be cooler to actually use like a, co a current college player. And then Burrow is just going to be training fodder. Jalen Conyers, I'm sorry, dog. I love you. Good luck this season. I got to go with Jefferson and Cam Rising. Damn, what a hell of a start to this pack. 285s and that's unlucky. Yo, Keith Brown and Martavius French both on the topper again. It's it's your choice of one of two 82 plus. Is that, I thought I said 83 plus. Did I read that wrong or am I getting scammed? Hold up, I need to go back and look at that. I'm gonna take Yo, Keith Brown. I'm just gonna sell him on the auction house. That is the beauty. There is of course an auction house. They sent those frauds over at 2K. Oh, this is it. This is the 83 plus. So this is the bundle topper. You're guaranteed an 83 plus. I have a 7.7% .7 chance of an 86 plus. Look for the big animation. That's it. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's a very marginal difference, but I can feel it. So TJ Crandall, come on, tell me. No, that's not it. Shit. We do get a strong safety, which we needed. Bo Frailer, Iowa State. Name an Iowa State player off the top of your head. Go, Brees Hall, Brock Purdy. Run support strong. Okay, this guy's a freak. 6'2", strong safety, 83 speed. That is the exact build you want on your strong safety. What's your hit power? Ooh, Bo Frailer. I like you. I like you, buddy. We're obviously going to take him here. We already have Crandall. We already have Crandis. Crandis dick fit in your mouth. All right, Bo Frailer. Welcome. All right, there is, ooh, there's an orientation pack. Gives you 871 to 73s. Hilariously, I don't have enough coins for this. Oh my God. I'll go get some coins. I'll probably rock a solo challenge, get some coins. Dude, the fact that we pulled two 85s in the same pack is actually disgusting because you only, you have a 23% chance at one 85 plus and we hit it twice in the same pack is nasty. Ooh, I actually really like this. Starter bundle. You get a starter offense and a starter defense pack, which each have 15 unauctionable players. You get 21 uncommons greens and nine blue rares. This will fill all of the holes on our roster. Damn, I really wish I could have something like this for Wheel of Cut, but um, Wheel of Nut. But you know, Wheel of Nut is beautiful because it doesn't, it doesn't use these things. All right, offense starter pack. Let's see what this does for us. So if everyone's a 77 or a 76, it's gonna be really good. Ooh, they go up to 78. 79. 79. And then you're gonna... Damn! I wonder if this is the exact same pack for everyone or if it's generated. An 80 right tackle, an 83 quarterback. Problem here, though, I can't sell him. I could probably quick sell him for training, which I will do because I'm gonna use Cam Rising. So we're gonna use Will Rogers, I'm sorry, as training fuck. Sorry, buddy. Get sent to the fucking Shadow Realm. Evan Stewart. Ooh, you gotta love getting an Oregon wide receiver. Carson Ryan. Patrick Kudis. 
Christian Washington, a little Coastal Carolina action. So if you ever see coins next to a player, they quick sell for coins instead of training. As the overall the player goes up, so does that coin quick sell value. If you get like an 87 platinum player, dude, those are worth a ton at the start of the game. So this is our starting hatback right now. Christian Watson of Coastal Carolina. 5'10", 77, speed 77, excel. Manageable, not exactly what I'm going for, but manageable. I think the beauty, honestly, of college football, you will not believe how many DMs I've already gotten from college football players. Because like, you know, the pro guys, there's some NFL guys I talk to, but not that many. But a lot of these dudes are gonna see this, so I actually gotta be careful when I talk shit. Isaiah Cummings, your ass! Get your speed up! Isaiah Cummings! If you don't hit the 40 yard dash right now, bro, my team is lacking! I'm never stepping foot near Louisville. And we get a defensive starter pack. Oh, you can actually choose. There is coverage, balanced, and blitz. I'm not gonna lie, I am a coverage guy. So let's take the coverage one. We've got strong safety and free safety locked out. We've got Quinion Mitchell at corner. We need two more usable corners to be like a viable program right now. So hopefully one of the blues is a corner. Get Marcus Clark. Not what we're looking for. I'll be honest. Ooh. Quick sell punter. Caden Nunkester. Give me a blue corner. Jackson Woodard. Hey, Ridge Texada. North Texas. 80 speed, 80 man. How tall are you? How tall are you? Shit. Shit. Aiden Castle, hybrid free safety. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. A Boise State corner. A Marion McCoy. Six foot, 81 speed, 81 excel. Exactly what I need. That's beautiful. All right, after ripping a few packs, let's see what this team looks like. So Cam rising at quarterback. Our starting halfback is actually Andrew Paul, a raging Cajun. He's got, dude, I'm so, I love halfbacks. I think I want to try and get my hands on Ollie Gordon. But I'm not even sure I could put together that many coins right now. Let's go into our item binder and sell the players that are not on the lineup right now. I'm also going to open these platinum packs. Um, The reason I like this is I'd like to buy a halfback off the auction house. So this would just kind of feed some coins onto the lineup. Also, if we get really lucky, we could pull a blue. Hell yeah. A blocking fullback. I mean, I actually kind of need him on the lineup. Oh, shit. Wait, these these are supposed to be gold or better. Or, sorry, they're green or better. Oh, I only get one pick, though. I'll take Luke Reynolds, and I'm gonna quick sell him. Sorry, Luke. Well, maybe I don't quick sell him. He would quick sell for 20,000 coins. He would auction for a little bit more than that. Remember, there is a 10% fee. So he's gonna sell for 27,500. But they'll take 2,750. I'll walk away with 24,500. 24,750. This one, not nearly as much luck. We get Josh Baker, a 78 right tackle, and you're going straight to the Shadow Realm for 7,000 points. Now, I do plan to do an absolutely massive pack opening, but that's not today. Today, I just want to get a feel for it and get some gameplay. So, Rare Platinum Pack is going to give us everything that's in this pack right here. We got Drew as a party, Matt Jones, a little Kennesaw State, a Gamecock, and a Georgia Southern. God, this is so sick. That's 71,000 coins right there. If you're opening these packs, you're really just looking for as many blues as you can get. And if you go dummy, I guess you could get a purple platinum. I'm not sure I'm built like that. Jalen Braxton, our very first guy. Andrew Chambly. Come on, give me blue. That's what I love to see. Arvel Reese. Blue, 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 blue. Gary Bohannon and our final player in this pack. Another 53,000 coins. Puts us with 130K. Let's see what's the best halfback we could get with 130K. 84. I could get an 84 halfback for right around 129.6. It looks like there's a ton of options. Let's take a look at some of these guys. CJ Donaldson, a power back with 80 speed. Jonah Coleman, another power back. Probably very similar stats, but he's 5'9". It's like everybody's a power back. Are there no elusive backs? Oh, Terry and Stewart. I low-key want Terry and Stewart. I think I have to do this. Who watches my streams knows exactly why I want Terry and Stewart. A 5'9", 225 power back with 81 speed, 81 excess. Pretty damn good, too. Terry and Stewart, Bowling Green Falcon is our starting halfback. Wide receivers look great. Yo, Keith Brown, Evan Stewart, Travis Hunter, Terry and Stewart at halfback, Cameron Rising in the backfield. Isaiah Cummings is my fullback. We got Carson Ryan. Carson Ryan at tight end and a solid offensive line. Defensively, we're a lot stronger. Quinion Mitchell, Crandall, and McCoy, great corners. Jonathan Jefferson and Nick Scorton as our edge rushers. Bo Frailer and Caleb Downs this is a no-fly zone. Bruner, French, Woodard, and Anderson as our linebackers. And we've even got solid punters and kickers. I'm interested to see what base offensive playbook looks like. I'm sure it's nothing special, and I'd like to change that in the future. But we got an 80 overall squad. There's our top five players on this lineup. And I'm playing house rules. House rules, I love house rules. And again, if you're brand new, there's a field pass. As you earn levels on the field pass, you'll get rewards. Got some packs here, we got some coins. 
Lions. And you max this puppy out, you get an 87 overall LSU outside linebacker, Harold Perkins, who looks like a stud. 87 Excel, 86 finesse. You get tokens for upgrading players. And this is how you can upgrade the field pass. Always doing your dailies is probably the easiest and least time commitment. Like if you just log in and do your dailies, you can upgrade the field pass pretty easy. And then there's obviously grinder shit too, like pass for 1,500 yards across any mode. I, I hate to feel like I'm teaching shit, but I do feel like since this game is so big, there are people that have genuinely never played Ultimate Team. And for the record, Ultimate Team has always been my favorite game mode, but I think that's going to change this year. Let's see if they give a rule refresher on college overtime rules. They don't. Bring, oh, he's got the, oh no, I've got the bring glory home. Oh shit. Okay. Starting out on offense. Okay, baseball Playbook's actually nasty. You have gun, pistol, you have flex bone? I mean, it's not insane, but it's not bad. They start out with an inside zone taking this left side and Terry and Arnold. Terry and Stewart. Sorry, Terry and Arnold went to the Lions. I'm gonna do that a lot. I have to apologize right now. I'm gonna do that a lot. The run game is back for the record. It's powerful. Third and three. It's a keeper. And it's a joke from Cam Rising. That was really interesting. Did you see? It actually was telling me to give the ball. Did you see that? In online head-to-head, -head, it was making the read for me. I wonder if that's in every game mode or just house rules. We can go pass now. We'll widen out and go verticals. Let's see if Travis Hunter can get underneath this. Oh, just barely he will because he's just a little bit faster. Travis Hunter is our first touchdown in Spartan Stadium. Let's get it, boys. Now, college overtime rules. On the first drive, it's just whatever you want. So I can choose to go for two or just kick the PAT here. I'll kick the PAT. Now my opponent gets an opportunity to score. If he scores, he could kick the PAT and send it into second overtime, or he could go for two and outright win or lose the game right there. If it goes to second overtime, you are forced to go for two. If it goes to third overtime, you start every play as a two-point conversion. So like two yards off the line of scrimmage or whatever. He's gonna throw this check down here and he's... Ooh bigger hit. No, I'm not gonna lie. I think my PAT decision might have been a little conservative because most people online, they want to get the game done as soon as possible to get the rewards. So I have a feeling he's gonna go for two if he gets this, but let's find out. I'm on French. Good coverage. He's gonna step up. He's gonna fumble! Fumble! Miller! House it! House it anyway! Run up the score! Oh, Miller is not fast, but does he have enough? Miller! Miller! Let's go! And in our first college OT game! Winning 13 to zero is so disrespectful in OT. I'm not even gonna lie. Hey, Tarion Stewart, player of the game. Tarion, Tarion, I know we have beef in Road to Glory, but this is, I'm getting you right right now. And already we've got a thousand coins and another 500. All right, game two, taking on Virginia Tech, starting on offense once again. Ah, uh, I'll take the check down. Stewart? Oh, good move. What's your spin looking like, Tarion? So it's, is it gonna tell me again? Oh my God, it did. It told me to keep it. He's on Foster. We're gonna cut this up the middle. We'll widen out on third and five. He's only got three down linemen. So I'm gonna step up in this pocket, see if it's possible. Otherwise, try and deliver one. Oh, that's way too open to not take it, but I'm supposed to rack that shit. Let's see what it comes out in. If he comes out in a goal line defense, I don't know that I can get this. You can stop QB sneak. Fourth and inches, tush push. He can just kick a field goal and beat me now. That's totally my fault for not racking that uh that slant. It's good to know though, I think a lot of people have criticized QB Sneak for being too powerful. You go in a goal line set, you can stop. It's weird to even see him like attempting a play at all. No way! Oh my god. I just coughed up a fumble and we picked it up for it's positive 10 yards. Does he not know that he can kick a field goal? If he doesn't know he can kick a field goal, I might have a chance here. Or maybe he just wants to rub it in. I respect that. He's gonna go for another run. Good sidestep. Kind of expect another run. I'm gonna hop on Crandall and go blow this up. There it is. Bodies. Third and five, great defense. Bacon. Or miss it. You wanna shank this? I wouldn't be too upset. There is a new kicking meter. Drills it. GG's, GG's. That's on me. If you can't get an inch in college football, you don't deserve to win the ball game. Taking on the Huskies, starting on defense. And we're in their stadium. He's got that Joe Burrow that I benched. Let's see if that comes back to bite me. I've got this post. Uh-oh. Some really good blocks and a really good angle. Damn, Donovan Edwards, fast. I didn't think he'd get in there. That's about as quick as those touchdowns come. He will kick the PAT. If I score, I'm gonna kick the PAT too. I think I just need another opportunity on defense. That was too quick of a touchdown. Second and four going sweep. I'm gonna cut this up the middle. Let's get a juke to the ooh. Honestly, if I spin there, that'd be a touchdown. Good blocks, good pull. 
Got a little bit in front of my blocks, but it's nine yards. Keeping that. Just how he drew it up. All right, second OT, our first time in second OT. I think I get offense back to back now. Yeah, I do. Gonna run a little bit of speed option here. Let's give him the pitch, cut this up. Tarion. Tarion! Oh! Tarion Stewart. First and goal, we're just going power. No more QB sneak bullshit. Take me home, gentlemen. Cool. You can jump damn high on the end zone sometimes. They don't always give you that. But we needed it right there, and we must go for two. We don't have a choice. I've got a Texas on Stewart. I've got Trav on a hitch. Let's take a look. Roll out Cam Rising. Got a dodge here. Is that available? That almost happened. Good defense. We gotta, We could either keep him out of the end zone or stop the two-point conversion. All right, Caleb Downs. Got Frailer here. He's gonna do the check down again to Donovan Edwards. He's gonna he's gonna throw that alone. I'm gonna blitz on both edges, and I just got French in the middle here. Second and five. Anything short? No, I've got Donovan Edwards. Throws in the middle! What earned? And that's ball game, baby! A second OTW with a big interception right there. It ain't over till it's over. Tell you what? I'm really liking the option plays, I'm not gonna lie. Take it on Bama! And that's it's telling me give. I can't believe that. Oh my god, is this a tutty out the gate? Oh, he's got. No, that was Caleb Downs. I was literally about to say he's got no silver lineup. Nope, those were just trash angles they took. You know what? He might have guessed pass, actually. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you guess pass and you're wrong, it puts, dude, nobody reacts. Everybody's lost in the sauce. I'm going for two? Just kidding. I got a flag. I'm kicking the PAT. Perfect kick. Gotta love that. Well, you can't start out much better than that. Let's play a little defense here. Find Travis Hunter. No, you didn't break that tackle. Too worried about potentially black Joe Burrow. First and goal, he wants something quick. Oh, he goes with the QB draw, but we blitzed. We can still hold here. Um, what's the move? What if I go cover three sky and I drop my, yes, this is what we're doing. We're putting almost everybody in pass coverage right here. It's a little risky. I'm on Frenchie. This is all absolutely bad. Somebody's gotta step up and get Burrow, right? Somebody's gotta get Burrow, right? Oh, I'm there. Good move. Good movement, but he doesn't get in. Gun? He's still in trips? We're there. Oh. Does he PAT or does he go for two? If I'm him, I go for two. Kicks the PAT, drills it. Second OT, he's on offense again. 13 on the corner route. Oh no, Bruner. I don't think he has anything. Yes, he does. Nice. Okay, easy touchdown for him. He's got to go for two. No choice. I'm having a tough time stopping him right now. Let's see what 85 does. Oh, I'm there. Beautiful defense. So we got to get in the end zone and we got to score a two point or we're headed into triple OT. All right, first and 10. Keep it simple. We're going to hand this puppy off. Jesus, that was a hell of a push they were getting. Let's see if he follows Travis Hunter all the way. If he doesn't, I can throw it. Uh, wait, clear, 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 clear. He's on it though, great defense. Damn, we had that first easy touchdown, but now we're at fourth and five. This is the biggest play of the game right here. Fourth and five, easy pass. Reset the chains, first and goal. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, Cam Rising bottled up, but I had A. Gotta look downfield. Second and goal, I'm just gonna get up a little bit closer here with the run. Ooh, he shifts the wrong way. Dude, what the fuck are these? This D-line is playing out of their mind. It was a crazy block shed. Third and goal. We don't fight through it, boys. Oh, he's on a D-tackle. Let's make it simple. Make it simple. Fourth and goal. Two yards to go. I think I'm going to run this. Ooh, this is so scary. I got to try this. I'm going speed option to the left on fourth and goal. Pitch it. What are you doing? I didn't I don't know why he didn't pitch it, if I'm being honest. I absolutely hit LB. You saw him put it out there. Dude, one thing that does bother me is if you double tap LB, they fake the pitch, but it's so easy to accidentally hit it twice because you're just trying to pitch it. So I, I feel like they should change that to something else, like fakes it. I, I don't know what it would be, but damn, that was a, that was an easy touchdown. All right, well, we can't go out on a loss, boys. First and 10, Travis Hunter's eight. Such an, oh my God. More games like this, boys. Let's go for two. I'm actually going to go for two on that same play, but I'm going to actually convert it this time. Okay, I got off the pitch that time. Good blocks. Tarion Stewart. That's a hell of a start to the ballgame. Frenchie. Frenchie. Oh, that's a pick. Come on, Downs. That's a good play. Come on, Frailer. Guarding the tight end here. Let's see what kind of route he gives. 
Oh, I'm not in front of it. Damn. Risky Blitz. He's got to go for two, though, and he's got to get it. Same thing. Five wide. A lot of people in pass pro here. Oh, he's going to have one clear back over the middle. <gasps> Missed the throw! Let's go! And we get the dub! All right, boys, that's a little taste of College Football Ultimate Team. Damn, this game is so good. I love this game. All right, boys, next Ultimate Team video, it's going to be a massive pack opening, and then you'll have Wheel of Cut. So it's going to be a good time. Hey, I love you guys. Thanks for watching, as always. I'll see you in the next video. Peace!